ऑनरेबल ऑनरेबल चांसलर एंड दी फाउंडर ऑफ दिस प्रेस्टिजियस इंस्टीट्यूट इन दी लिवर केयर एंड क्यूर पद्म भूषण डॉक्टर सरीन जी चांसलर हु इज़ अ चांसलर एंड मे बी द सोर्स ऑफ इंस्पिरेशन एंड मोटिवेशन नॉट ओनली फॉर द स्टूडेंट स्टाफ बट फॉर ऑल आयुर्वेदिशियन एंड मेनी अदर्स फॉर दी फॉर हिज डेडिकेशन एंड द कमिटमेंट एट द आउटसेट वी रियली फील आई रियली फील फॉर्चुनेट ऑनर्ड एंड हम्बल्ड टू हैव गिवन दिस इन्विटेशन एंड सच अ ग्रेट ऑनर फॉर हैविंग दिस कंटिन्यूइंग दिस लीगसी ऑफ ओरेशन एंड इन दिस रो यू हैव chosen ayurved i think this is maybe the honor of ayurved i consider of all india institute of ayurved and i just uh, on behalf of my system my institution and my team who is a we call it as a all india institute of ayurved the family including scientists teachers students uh, i uh, will try to do the justice at the outset i would like to extend const uh, heartiest congratulations from all our team uh, to ilbs family led by uh, dr sarin ji tempe ji and all the senior most legendary personalities who i cannot name but uh, who has really developed this institution as a one of the premier institution in the liver care uh, and a landmark institution for achieving this um, 14th Uh, foundation day and all those uh, who are the pillars i we, we could witness many more uh, your pillars uh, and the backbones uh, for honoring them so i congratulate each and every member of ilbs family uh, for this uh, foundation day and many more success and uh, awards uh, and uh, patient care and now as being asked i consider this uh, as more opportunity Uh, to uh, to share uh, how ayurved uh, can be in introduced and can be integrated with the conventional practices and as the comparer was uh, telling in the beginning about uh, honorable sarin ji uh, about how uh, how the khwab has become the haqeeqat as ilbs <laughs> with your contribution and uh, for me also it was my khwab to be a, to come to ilbs to have because i was working at choudhary brahma prakash charak sansthan for four and half years under government of nct delhi and many of the secretaries and many dr tempe also i met him as he as he was a dean at molana azad medical college and there it was a dream because that was the institution in 2012 uh, to establish as one of the center of excellence under government of nct delhi and uh, we we had been asked by the delhi government uh, to visit to the best institutions under government of delhi and uh, that was the name was ilbs to you to you visit the ilbs how it has been created and how the success story has been created so you follow the path uh, of the winners and how they have created so that was my dream to come here to visit and i think for me also the khwab has become the haqeeqat as you have invited me and given me this opportunity to share the very prestigious dais so i thank everyone and thank god for giving me this opportunity and now again i am a proud to represent all india institute of ayurved since 2018 i am part of this 16 and 2018 i have been given the uh, responsibility by ministry of ayush as a director to head this institution which has been dedicated to nation by none another than our prime minister sri narendra modi ji and this is a double plus nac a double plus institution in the first cycle of assessment evaluation we have received nac a double plus i think one of the only institution which has received nac a double plus in the first cycle of evaluation and also nabh accredited iso certified and uh, it is the main mandate is like creating because honorable director of aims former aims kakkad ji is here so this institution was envisioned by then prime minister sri atal bihari vajpayee ji and then materialized by 
present government uh, to establish institution which is should be aims for ayurved that means it should be tertiary care hospital in ayurved holistic and integrated care and it should be the post graduate research and training institution uh, in the with ayush sector in the sector of ayush which provides uh, the benchmark and the role model and in the public health also and that is the mission is bringing ayurved healthcare and harnessing its potential uh, with the highest standards in the current healthcare system and as i mean to say that in with the liver and biliary sciences we had a courage to say with our data what we have as within 6 years of its inception dedication to nation since 2017 we have managed holistic with holistic and integrated way of uh, management uh, 2100000 20 lakh patients in 42 specialty areas where holistic panchakarma shodhan shaman it is a holistic model i don't even prescribe paracetamol but we have 2000 patients visiting daily in 42 specialty areas and 200 patients admitted and we also have the extension center at uh, now it was we offer uh, md and phd courses in 12 specialty and uh, it was post graduate teaching training institution and for the creating forum practice based evidence to create evidence based practices uh, that is the main mandate to understand the science behind our traditional wisdom is the main mandate given to us by the government and in this row within 6 years of its inception Uh, our another satellite institution has been again inaugurated uh, I, I, ia delhi was inaugurated in 2017 and now it has been uh, the second institution satellite institution which is spread over six times bigger uh, 50 acres of land has been dedicated again to nation by our prime minister of india at goa satellite uh, all india institute of ayurved at goa Uh, by prime minister in last year and we have started our graduation program bams and it, the hospital is also functional with 800 patients daily capacity so you all are, are um, invited to visit because that is also center as a medical tourism with high Ayur ayurved and i wish to say here for in the liver disorder one of our teacher used to say that if ayurved has to be a um, recognize with the uh, world then you just work on your strength concentrate on your strength and the liver disorder is a strength of ayurved where we can really contribute so the future of the medicine is no medicine because ayurved does not mean that it is the medication the me uh, supplement if you follow healthy diet lifestyle aahar aachar vichar and the that itself is the prevention care of your liver i think agni is the future is the no medicine is a prevention but if it happens liver disorders are manifested in many as we we are treating so then future is integration and that's how we are really fortunate and have that some of our interventions like panchakarma virechan basti and um, professor sarin has and his team including shwetang jaya benjamin and all dedicated staff and our staff uh, dr hudda prashant divya and everyone amrish the team has been established created under the visionary leadership of ministry and vaidya rajesh koteja ji also and team from ccrs so we are working to understand the molecular mechanism of virechan that is a purgation medicated purgation and its uh, understanding its effect the entire process Uh, from pre it's like a surgery so entire 14 days process what happens to gut microbiota how it is to be replenished so we are really thankful and maybe we'll get the results to showcase to the entire world how what is the strength of in this system and how we really integrate for the better outcome because future is the integration so if we select best of the best uh, from every system so it is not the pathy centric integration but the patient centric integration for the benefit of the patient if we really come together join hands together and provide the best maybe the as many laurels your students has won maybe this nobel laurels can be created in this mainland of india where we have the traditional wisdom of ayurved uh, 
uh, which is the knowledge system of health and happiness and as i have mentioned that our divisions are tertiary care hospital academic post graduate institution and translational research division because the main mandate is to create the evidence which can be translated into the public health and our journey starts from illness to wellness but it does not stop it is illness to wellness to happiness as we were witnessing ilbs as a family and everyone smile on everyone's face so our tagline of the hospital is also care with compassion because it is the ayurveda is a not science when we say that science has a limitation to create evidence but this knowledge system is the absence of evidence is not an evidence of absence so knowledge system is beyond it is a tip of iceberg what we see many things are like pratyaksham alpam analpam apratyaksham so that integrated holistic whole system like integration of mind body and soul and integration with the universe i think we have to create that model to understand but when we really have the integration that itself we enjoy the happiness and that's what we really give prasanna atma indriya manaha to everyone and um, it is the since beginning it has been established as a ashtanga ayurveda so the ayurveda itself is not only folklore medicine it's it's if it, it within itself it is a complete science which really uh, has its principal theory and application and it has been divided into eight branches kaya bala grahor dwanga shalya danstra jara vrushan so the internal medicine geriatrics pediatrics so these are its main eight branches and for every disease of each disease from child to old age and for the adults there is a system of understanding cause effect and management hetu linga and aushad and the management is fivefold that is panchakarma oral medication diet lifestyle and also uh, the yoga and medication so any system it approach is systemic holistic and that's how um, we treat holistic management and the main strength of ayurveda someone asks what is the strength of your system how can we integrate with your own system so i say that all clinicians and physicians and the researcher the main strength of the this system is prevention so the maintenance of the health swasthasya swasthya rakshanam and how do we do that with diet sleep and the lifestyle if we three focus on these three ahara vihar and nidra if we understand the logic behind this 8 3 are 24 divide the 24 in this three and manage this i think we'll be able to prevent almost each and every condition and if at all it happens then it is the holistic that is the main strength and as we know the impact study we did during uh, recent time and we could understand that 80% of our population even in india they use some of the measures of traditional medicine as a primary care what you understand as dadiba nanimas nuska and that itself is ayurveda it is imbibed in our tradition what we live what we eat what we follow like today it is a lodi and we'll be celebrating and makar sankranti and we'll be distributing sisame chikki til ke laddu dete hai that is a winter regimen shishira rutu charya hum follow kar rahe hain i think that itself is a ayurved and understand the science behind it is what is the mandate given to us and now global acceptance is also increased more than 70 countries has their traditional medicine and really we are blessed by our own contribution as a health ministry separate ministry of ayush uh, we have a un outpost global center of traditional medicine which has established at jamnagar and our honorable prime minister narendra modi ji and who dg and prime minister mauritius they laid the foundation stone and i am really proud to say that uh, who dg before visiting to jamnagar he visited all india institute of ayurveda to understand how the tradition is supported with the technology and how our classical science is still contemporary in this has a is a relevant to this system where we 
integrate with the diagnostics and the technology and do the holistic management and this is how the global center is being established uh, with where a policy documents and i'm also uh, happy to share that i'm also one of the a task force member where we have the opportunity to contribute to establish this vision mission document and now coming to health problem how do we clinicians how do we integrate join hand together as a value addition and i don't say i don't see anything as a competition i don't say anything as a inferior or superior i see more opportunities as a complement we complement each other for better health outcomes and there is a value addition we have to identify the gap and breach the gap and the strength of each system and that's knowledge integration will do it research integration will follow and that will follow the practice integration and the strength we are working all those 21 lakh patients professor sarinji we are working only on our strength areas like ncd musculoskeletal and all many and one important thing is liver disorder as the number i would like to say that day by day it is increasing in we started our liver patients and its clinic and its separate opd and a unit with panchakarma diet lifestyle 4000 patients we treated but the last year we had the data of holistic management of 14500 patients so may many of your research scholars they can choose the research question and we have the clinical data to validate and many other conditions uh, in liver disorders what are the conditions like nash and ash so the nash is the more non alcoholic liver steatosis that is the one which is more followed by many other conditions so the data is there so how do we understand how do we do it what is our approach the approach is very important because we don't have the target but what we create the healthy environment like we establish our immune system so that our host response becomes strengthened and that's why the sutra the quotation says that ya bhi kriya bhi jayante sharire dhatva sama so anything any method which brings homeostasis between the system is the main crux of the disease management so how do we do that may be drugless therapies it is not one as to one maybe drugless therapies like fasting correlation of diet exercise medication come we can integrate this to bring the homeostasis within our own system then procedures like bio, bio cleansing surgical procedures marma internal medication coupled with integral medication and behavior social behavioral changes and for liver and metabolic disorders we have to understand three hetu linga and aushada hetu is a causative factor maybe viral hepatitis virus a b c and many can be the causative factor we don't understand we understand the causative factor is in our diet it is ahar and vihar which is the main causative factor and we have to hit the target so nidana parivarjan if we remove from that we can prevent many many liver disorders that's the approach the manifestation is the symptoms and aushade is the holistic management by biopurification shamana rejuvenation and the diet and the lifestyle so the principle of management is the principal emphasis in the disease prevention health promotion followed by treatment with dinacharya rutucharya and the treatment of disease is also hetu viparit opposite of the causative factors opposite that is a vyadhi viparit if samtham has a jaundice then there are some target uh, target oriented formulations which are really useful as a vyadhi viparit target oriented and those are the one which are true to, very close to the conventional medicine and both so those like in covid covid specific medicine liver specific medicine heart cardio protective so these are also our target then the therapies rejuvenation therapy and other procedures but what important i would tell to each and every youngsters mind setting here the approach of ayurved 
is not only the disease management what we understand is a rog pariksha and rog management is not the focus what we understand is a rogi rogi examination is very important and our own parameters like the tongue is the newspaper of the delhi environment jimha pariksha pulse examination so the rogi pariksha is very very important along with the rog pariksha and if we couple these two things together i think that's the how we derive the principle of management and if we understand the first professor of medicine at hopkins what he mentioned that it is much more important to know what sort of a person has a disease than to know what sort of a disease person has and this is exactly is a individualized approach of ayurved customized approach designer medicine approach maybe rogi pariksha we coupled with your intervention i think that itself will give you a precision uh, precision medicine or pharmaco um, epidemiol and like we can say the uh, more precise management can be derived and then it's a, there is a nadi pariksha pulse examination and prakruti examination eight fold clinical examination unique classification of the disease we don't uh, even though hepatitis a b nash ash everything we can categorize into ayurveda approach because apple cannot be compared with oranges but we understand the approach and then integrate i think will come out with the best solutions the method of diagnosis unique strength of treatment of gi disorders as we know that every individual is different from another and hence should be considered separately that is ayurved says that swasthasya prakruti bhedena nana prakara tesham hitam api nana prakara and that is the main basis for the personalized medicine we can customize the protocol even in liver condition every person's protocol there can be many things common but some diet lifestyle can be customized as jaya benjamin and many others are doing in the clinical nutrition as well so understanding liver disorder according to ayurved most center of the crux is agni we understand everything in the understanding of, uh, we had many nutritionist and to reduce the diet uh, reduce the obesity and more cholesterol because even diabetes is a lipocentric so they sell that take almonds and walnuts start your day with almonds and walnuts and then take more salad first then follow by protein and take carbs but we don't say that because if we start with that if you don't your agni does not have the capacity to digest aapki bhook kitni hai aap pacha kitne sakte hai aapko bhook kya lagti hai what is your digestibility that is very important and that center of the crux we do everything deepana pachana that is a agni vardhana so that your liver metabolism is stimulated and it is in the press and mithya ahar diet and the lifestyle is the main focus and that's why all those metabolic parameters biochemical parameters inflammatory pro markers everything are controlled within normal limit when we establish our own agni our digestion metabolism mechanism is in place i think that is what is the agni digestive and metabolic processes all the markers will remain in place that's why everything we say that bhojanarde sada pathyam lavanardha ka bhujitam that means start your meal every meal with some adrak ginger and lavan because that takes stimulates your digestive fire i think kuch kuch bhi aam nahi hoga toxins nahi honge inflammatory markers nahi honge the second important thing we understand liver as the vitiation of rakta rasa system internal system aur ayurved mein jo liver disorders hote hai uske etiological factors agar virus hai to hum kehte ki uska predisposing factors hamare system mein bante hai जिसमें डाइट लाइफस्टाइल तो है लेकिन एक बार खाने के सब कुछ बहुत अपने अच्छा खाना खाया हेल्दी मील भी लिया लेकिन आयुर्वेद उसका विधि प्रोसेस को भी बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट ध्यान रखता है जिसमें अध्ययन एक बार खाने के बाद तीन घंटे नहीं खाना चाहिए लेकिन यहाँ पार्टी है इसीलिए खा के आके भी आपने कुछ केक वगैरह ले लिया पेस्ट्री ले लिया आई थिंक दैट विषमाशन अध्ययन दैट कॉजेस 
starts accumulating toxins that to to um, accumulates as a we call it as a armor and that is the main predisposing factor for having the viruses and many others to come in set in so these predisposing factors and the hetu according to ayurveda should be avoided diet and the vidhi ahara vidhi is more important matra and kal so the quantity of what you eat is important and kalam when you eat more important curd should not be taken at night taken at night that does not mean that we completely avoid so some things are to be taken so biological clock diurnal very chrono biology to be followed with respect to time and quantity that also the vidhi vidhan is also very important and that is the main crux of having the healthy lifestyle and understanding liver disorder it's very detail mentioned in ayurved as a kamala then we also have bahu pitta kamala and ruddha pata kamala as a obstructive shakhagat and obstructive and even cirrhosis and the ascites the detailed description is written about the symptomatology causative principle of management holistic management and secondary prevention as well once the tapping is done but then this how we prevent it again to reoccur so we have all this holistic principle of management which is holistic and integrated so we follow this success story at all india institute of ayurveda that in between we do panchakarma diet lifestyle but the diagnostics pre and post it's we adopt all radiology biochemistry all the liver markers lft everything we do and that is how it is integrated and uh, we have the co location so integration is not mixopathy integration is co location cross referral mutual respect understanding our own limit and also then referring when to our friends from conventional medicine where and when it is required so what we can offer what i can offer we can offer is a pathya and apathya i can tell you what is the best diet what is the best lifestyle considering the ayurvedic understanding of agni and ama and we have the study is done as a what is to be followed seven good habits to be inculcated sleeping 7 to 8 hours no eat, eating in between the meals eating breakfast regularly maintain proper weight exercise moderate or no alcohol no so very difficult to follow but it is really helpful to maintain the liver care and dietary principles according to again agni and ama and considering the srotas as a rasa and rakta that we really this is the approach if we understand and then follow it apply it from the today's perspective even gehu ki roti maida khana ye rakt ko vitiate karta hai and that itself reflects on to revitiation of the liver function it interrupts with the liver function that's what ayurveda says and that's how we follow and there are many many papers on claiming and justifying the role of diet in yoga in liver condition and those i will not go into deep tell in the interest of the time but we have the patients and we have the understanding of fatty liver non alcoholic viral hepatitis hepatic jaundice drug induced liver disorders and we have primary prevention secondary prevention and what we can do as everyone at least start adding some adjuvant so that we can take up care as a hepato protective and in improve the diet and this is our holistic management as a panchakarma shodhana followed by oral medication shamana rejuvenation supplement as a rasayana added by coupled with diet and lifestyle and medication and some of the common herbs which are widely screened and i'm sure professor sarin has already worked on many of these herbs as a kutki picro raja kuro brungaraj guduchi amalki kalamek musta and there are many but i just to name few uh, because for those which are already widely uh, screened clinically preclinical in vitro in vivo 
so those i am just putting before you can integrate this you can start using this but it is not selection of the herbs how we use it very important its administration prayog is very important like amla we say that amla a day keeps doctor away it is one of the swastha hita dravya so daily herbal health promoter but how we use it whether it is amla candy amla churna uh, or amla's juice we say that for diabetes and for all liver conditions amla along with turmeric meheshu nishamalki to be taken and this is how it has been studied for its antioxidant activity hepatoprotective immunomodulatory effects and the second very important swastha hita daily herbal health promoter is tinospora cordipolia i am sure everyone will say that many more publications for this hepatotoxicity but i would like to clarify my friends it was not tinospora cordipolia it is tinospora crispa so the selection of the proper herb is also very important and the stem how you use it because we don't use leaves the stem bark angushtha mula guduchi prayoja so the stem which is a thumb size to be taken for and its extract is used so the procedure and the recipes and the mode of administration how do we use it's very very important not only extracts exactly it is to be used in the traditional medicine if you start using and screening its effect clinical and preclinical is more important and uh, i'll just go as a kutki and there are various aloe vera we say that nakha shikhant top se to tak sabhi mein jahan it se inflammation hai wahan aloe vera is very important and we have screened its effect uh, in many conditions then kalamek endographis paniculata uh, it's all panchang is used in chronic liver conditions and then there are brungaraj jo हेना में डाइंग इफेक्ट है लेकिन इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज ए हिपैटो प्रोटेक्टिव कामला में कई कंडीशंस कई एंड भूम्या मलकी फाइलांतस निरूरी इज ऑल्सो स्क्रीन वाइडली पाइपर लॉन्गम इज ऑल्सो स्क्रीन वाइडली देर आर वेरियस फॉर्मुलेशंस बींग यूज बट ओवर द काउंटर शुड नॉट बी यूज वी हैव डन अमरीश एंड द ग्रुप वी हैव डन अ सिस्टमैटिक रिव्यू of safety and efficacy of ayurveda interventions in 34 studies reviewed and which are more occurred formulation has also been listed maybe you know as a liver live 52 is a marketed by himalaya but classical formulations is one as arogya vardhini followed by punarnavadi kwath and there are many other formulations which are really patola katurohini adi kashay i think those are the important formulations which are really and the frequency is also being measured i am sharing this presentation so that it can be further used by everyone if they wish to integrate and we have chronic ascites is our strength and you can see many patients as a case studies at all india institute of ayurved where within one month like 21 days how without tapping with ayurveda intervention how we really can help and last but not least least why i am standing and have a confidence to stand before you with the support and the kind gesture of professor sarin ji is because we have the collaborative project continued since last 3 years to study the physiological basis and gut bacterial modulation induced by birechan in healthy adults a prospective longitudinal study where professor sarin ji is a main torch bearer the leader mentor us mentoring us and from uh, ccrs we have narayan srikan and uh, from ilbs the team of shwetang sharma jaya benjamin and from us dr huddar prashant divya and many others from ccrs so it is a big team which has trying to understand the physiological basis and uh, i am really happy to share that we have completed our recruitment target and maybe interim trends Uh, would be encouraging and will come out with the good publications and the encouraging results so last but not least what i can say that if we join together all india institute of ayurveda and ilbs and all our institutions together 
it is the not only the procedure but the mind should come together so that we can create the best benchmark document nobel laureates for the world and we can do better than anyone else can thank you once again i am humbled